Hello, hello to all the amazing people and welcome to another episode of Against the Storm. The Nimer here and uh, it's going quite well. We are playing on Prestige 1 and uh, our first city on Prestige 1. It's already year 7. Uh, there's a lot of points we need to get but we'll be fine. Right now we're getting a lot from our Harpies here. If you have no idea what's going on your first time here, you can check out the playlist in the comments or description below and watch this series from the start. Or you can stay, sit back, relax and enjoy, uh, of course, like and subscribe and I'll try to catch up. So this is a roguelite city builder where um, the buildings you have available, uh, the blueprints for them you get from the crown and uh, well, it depends on... Um, it's a little bit random, so you have to adapt. Every every playthrough is going to be a little bit different. Like, I used to love Kiln a lot, so I was building Kiln every episode, but then I wouldn't get it. And now we are playing without Kiln and all that stuff. <laughs> sometimes you play with a cookhouse, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you play with a weaver, sometimes you work with uh, the, the sawmill, the, the carpenter, whatever it's called. But yeah, it uh, gets to change a lot over time. Anyway. I'm going to move this thing here-ish. Okay, let's go. And actually, so we are in the business of opening some new glades up here. So I'm going to do that. Uh, let's put it on speed 3. And harpies are not happy. Okay, how can... Oh, we open up a new glade. Okay, that pushed my hostility up. So that means we can drop a woodcutter now. There we go, to make them happy again. So let's see what we have here. We have the meat, yes! That's what we need, we need the meat. So, ooh, that's interesting. So there are two farms back to back here. Uh, that's really interesting, actually. Uh, this is so far from my other places, though. Can we build another small heart? We actually can. We can make yet another outpost up here. Now, problem is we don't have any more cocks for the warehouse, so... Yeah. So, <laughs> they will still have to carry a good all the way down here. Maybe I can put a warehouse like here-ish. Like, I could move it, right? Oh, no, you cannot move the warehouse. Interesting. What if you demolish it? Oh, you get back the cock. So, if you're done doing here, you can move, I guess. That's a little bit sketchy, though. Um... Okay, I'm gonna finally move this thing here. Hopefully it doesn't block it off. Yeah, the blocking is not really a thing in this game. Right, but we do need to care, uh, take care of this thing, though. So let's see. A destroyed caravan was found. Oh, a small destroyed caravan. A small destroyed caravan was found in a newly discovered glade. There are drag marks leading deeper into the forest. What could have caused such mayhem? So we can go like corruption or we can go loyalty. So, yeah, I will at some point have to start collecting the Queen's Grace. That's just what it is. Um, you can get some nice packs of goods here. Yeah, so we can rob it. That's the easiest way out. But, like, every time I don't grab this, I'm, like, losing potential Queen's Grace, which will need to win the game. So, keep that in mind. Right. Um... Problem is, we don't really have enough of these resources. The trader is coming though. And we also need some provisions. Although we can't make provisions now. And I should definitely put this thing to start making provisions. Right, so we're going to be making provisions now. So that's good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try to get as much resolve out of the harpies. Before their threshold jumps. And then... Um, and then we'll see. Then we'll see where we go from there. There we go. Um, There are ways for me to improve my reputations. We have a service building we're not using yet. And... Uh, I'm like really lacking things like tools and stuff. But I'm building a smithy, right? Where did I put that thing? It's up here. Right, so let's go and focus on that. We should have like a gazillion of builders right now. Let's see. Yeah, we have like nine builders, so people better start working. Better start working. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna move you like here. I'm gonna tell you to cut this out, actually. Like this, so we can make a proper road up here. Okay. Okay, can we get these also built? The makeshift posts. So many builders. There we go. 
And there, there we go, nice. So we can start making tools, which is really important. We're gonna make them out of uh, crystallized dew, and I'm gonna make them out of eight wood or two planks. Mm. So we can turn uh, eight wood into two planks. So that's basically the same thing. Uh, so I'm gonna use the wood then to save up on time. Okay, Harpies, time to start making some tools. I'm gonna make some good use out of these tools. Okay, let's see how much... Uh, okay, we have lots of grain, so we can continue planting vegetables. That's really good. Food-wise, we have lots of skewers, lots of jerky. We forbid people to eat the jerky, though. And we have lots of biscuits, so that's looking really good. Uh, let's see, how is the thing going on here? Oh, good. So this is also the neighborhood, so this is also lowering the... The problems right now yeah i definitely feel like i should build another one of these like up here do we actually have enough people uh, no not really we can grab another cornerstone though so five pigment for every 10 insects produced that's good a farmer's favorite food farmers have a plus 75 chance of producing double yields when under the effects of biscuits some fossils contain valuable surprises gain two amber for every 20 sea marrow produced Poof. Now that's kind of cool, although we are running out of sea marrow to harvest. I wonder, are you burning sea marrow? Hmm. That's it, that's the only one up there. Um, you know what, let's go for this thing. Farmers have a plus 75% chance of producing double yields when under the effect of biscuits. Because my farmers are humans, and well, most of my humans should have. Yeah. So we have four people affected by biscuits and 10 unaffected by biscuits. But we got a lot of biscuits now, so hopefully people eat the biscuits. Please, people, eat the biscuits. They're, they're good for you. They're really good for you. So there's the meat. Okay, small trapper's camp. No, I'm not sure where my trapper's camp is. It's there. Okay, enough of eggs. We actually need meat. So I'm going to put this thing up here. Now, it's going to be really far away from the warehouse. But meat is just so valuable that... But we're going to fix this soon by building a road through here, hopefully. So, yeah. Can't move the warehouse, though. So if you can get my hand, oh, this is really good though. This, these harpies are winning me the game right now. We're just getting reputations by a buckload, buttload. Uh, right, right, right. Any homeless people? No. Any people wanting to join us? They will be coming in two minutes. Trade routes. Okay, we don't have any provisions, but we should start selling stuff for amber because it's really necessary. Um. right so i need i need some goods here not a lot so i need like four packs of building materials so i'll put like two harpies in here i'm gonna tell them to build some building materials i'm gonna turn it off then i need three packs of crops let's see what we can use here we can use the grain so I'm also going to put like two people in here and let's go and produce that. And I'm going to need packs of provisions which we'll produce in this one here. And we already are producing it actually. So, And then with these packs of provisions we can actually go and trade. Although I think we need those for solving this, right? Yeah, but the time is running out and... I should probably go and solve this while I still can do it before the storm comes. Can I wait out the storm and then do it? Not really. Yeah, I need to start working on this one. And just like that, I'm gonna loot it, but... Yeah, I don't think the trader's coming fast enough. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Yeah, we have to do this. That means we lose our bonus. Ah, how many provisions do we have? Like, can we get 15 amber somehow? Maybe by trading? Yeah, we're gonna need provisions for that. Okay, let's try to do this normally. What happens if we fail though? Yeah, we definitely wanna do this thing. 
Uh, yeah, no. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Uh, this is the downside of opening these dangerous glades. Please start working on it. Small forger has no camps nearby. All right. I think I saw... Okay, there's some broccoli down there. So I can do that, I guess. Yeah, sure, let's do the broccoli thing. Yeah, please don't. Just stop. There we go. That's enough. Uh, let's go and force delivery. Get one of you out, you guys. Uh, okay, good. Stop doing that. Okay, force delivery. There we go. Okay. So we're doing this thing. I actually want this to be done before the storm, so I'm going to speed it up. I'm gonna be like, burn the, burn the marrow. Small herbalist camp has no camps nearby. That's all right. Let's go up. Let's see anything on the edges. Nope, actually no. Really? Like we have nothing together. So now we have two buildings which can do anything. Harvester's camp. Oh wait, this thing can collect reeds and fibers. Okay, so actually this one can be working. Right. Yeah, it would be cool if we got a pad going here or something like this. A little bit far from the warehouse also, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, right, Herbalist Camp, there we go. Uh, everyone has the homes, they have the homes. Right, so yeah, we really want to finish this as soon as possible. It's going to finish before... Yeah, it's going to finish before... Oh, we opened up another one. Yay, what is this thing? Fishman Cave. It looks abandoned, but who if... It, but what if it's not? A terrible fishy smell comes from within. Fishman witches have prepared a special surprise for anyone trying to break into the cave. Spawns three fishman totems. And we get one... Uneasy point... Oh, we can solve this various ways, actually. Trying to enter the fishman cave triggers hidden traps. A fishman totem spawns every 60 seconds. It's active only when the corresponding late event is being worked on. Okay, so this seems doable. We will need some stuff here. Uh, right. So we can either bribe them or chase them away. Uh, I'm gonna chase them away to start getting reputation points. Also, like, I'm stretched a little bit thin. Please don't open this one. There we go. Um, Now well, that's good. So what is the best way to do this? So we can either make 30 training gear or 15 tools. What is cheaper? So let's see. Tools... For 15 tools, that's going to be almost all of our due. Oh, we're actually collecting these from somewhere. Okay, or we can do training gear. Which is made from the uh, same thing, really. But in bigger quantities, we can also use stone. This is a very low efficiency. So for 15 tools, we have to spend 21, dude. And for... Uh, for 30 training gear... Just 9, dude. So we can solve this with 9, dude, then? Am I right? Yeah. Okay, let's solve it with 9, dude. Okay, enough fabric. Let's make some training gear. Uh... Out of planks, I guess. Okay. Okay, this one's getting done. I just have to remember to turn off. And we found some more meat. Oh, we found some clay, actually. That's really good. Okay, uh, you guys. Yeah, just... Uh, start cleaning these up. 
I'm gonna make a row down there. From the warehouse. There we go. Good. I'm gonna harvest the clay. That's gonna be useful. We can make some more bricks and stuff. Okay, everyone has the homes. That's good. Okay, we are collecting the things. You're gonna be able to make more textiles. Good. Right. Mm, everything seems in order. I'm super expanded though. I don't remember when is the last time I was like in so many different places at once. Let's see, can we put another woodcutter somewhere? Yeah, we definitely can. Yes, we are done doing the reputation now, but we cannot do it anyway while this is being active. But like, I'm gonna switch them back to wrap as soon as this is done. Stonecutter scam has no deposits nearby. And that's fine, because you're going to collect clay now. There we go. Good. So that's really nice. Uh... Oh, the storm's coming. Oh, ready? Ish. Okay, this will be done just in time. Okay. I'm gonna turn this thing off. There we go. Okay, good. Now for the roads. Nope. That's not what we want. Okay. I want to go through here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, and you can also cut these down. Good. Although, we'll probably need to lower our hostility now. So, which one's the less important? This one, I guess. Although it is closer. Yeah, but I want to clean that up for sure. Okay, there we go. And, okay, we're on four now. So what does the four do? We'll just have a higher chance of consuming double double. Yeah, it sounds pretty bad actually. Let's see, can we go down to three? We can. There we go. Good. Let's be at three then. Uh, so, glutinous. We'll just, with this effect, have a plus 50% chance of consuming double the amount of food during the break. Okay, let's see. How are we doing with production of skewers? We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. And production of these, not so great. Uh, actually, you know what? This thing can... No, where's my root collector? Like, I found some roots somewhere. Like here. Small forager's camp. Which can collect what? Grains, roots, and vegetables. Haha! <laughs> I placed this at the wrong spot. I really need you to collect these roots because roots we need to make cookies. Oh, and everyone's fine. Nobody's leaving. So that's good. Um, and now it's time to build some more houses. So let's see. Let's see. This one's pretty well off. This one is just on the boundary. This one's just on the boundary. I'm worried if I build a house at the wrong place, people from these normal houses are going to move to an improved house and some of these will lose its bonus, which is really bad because, yeah, so this is the only one really that's safe. I can grab more people, I guess. But then, do I even have enough houses for them? So what I should do here is I should make sure we have eight houses built. Okay, let's start like this. Let's see what do we have in here. We have a whole bunch of harpies, humans. I wish I could see like how many lizards live here. So there's one lizard which might move. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Let's start building this stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna build a lizard house here and here. There we go. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five lizard houses. 
can build one more. Now, next to the warehouse is really not a good place to build this house. Okay, we can build one here. Okay. I have to be careful. Have to be very careful. We're gonna lose our bonus here if you're not careful. Okay, clay's being worked on. That's good. Okay. So I have one woodcutter doing work right now, and that's cleaning up this place, which is good. Okay, as soon as the storm is done, we're gonna be able to relax here. Food wise, we are good. Impatience wise, yeah, impatience is always gonna be a problem. Oh, wait. Ooh, damn. Did I turn this off? Yeah, I did turn them off. That's good. Uh, so now... Okay, we made a lot of provisions, though. Okay. Okay, I can switch back to flour. Uh, we can start trading, then. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, we actually have 24 pottery for some reason. Uh, let's sell that. 5 amber. Let's go. And then let's see what do we have here. We have 36 mushrooms. Now, I'm not sure if I want to sell food. But I'm probably fine with food. Yeah, I'm fine with food. Yeah, let's go and sell food. There. So that's going to be really good. So we did solve this thing. Yeah, so we're collecting stuff right now. We need to solve this. So how many of these do we have? 20. So we need like one more. Okay. I'm gonna fight them away. Harpies, go and fight them. Uh, every 60 seconds, something, something. Yeah, let's... Let's start bringing in the tools. Good thing is that didn't actually increase the, the problem. Okay. There. Good thing I noticed that because we're gonna need those. I just spent all my stone on that, which is not great, but okay. Um, and I actually need crystallized dew for that, so hopefully these don't spend it. So hopefully this starts happening. Okay, it's happening. Okay, I'm going to turn it off now. I'm going to switch back to fabric. Uh, right, so that's going to be really good. Everyone's least resolve is low. Not sure what happened. Okay, the hostility jumped. Uh, so exactly what I said that's gonna happen happened one the lizard moved from this area to this area here into his brand new house and now this place doesn't have enough people and this place is fine and yeah but the thing ends soon so it's gonna be fine I'm gonna place down a human house up here so that's gonna be good so to solve this like really fast, I'm just going to grab a shelter from here and I'm going to plop it down here. Bam. Nice. Okay. Good. Mm -mm. Okay. Building some more lizard houses. Okay. Harpies seem to be super happy. They're going to need to be just a tiny bit happier if we want to do something with that, but... Okay, let's put another harp in here. But yeah, like hostilities like over the roof now. Uh, there. There. Okay, I need you to clean this up. So let's start working on that. A fisherman totem appeared nearby. So what does D do? Threats plus 60. The forest hostility is temporarily increased by 60 points. So we can assign a worker to get rid of it. Is that it? I mean, that's fine. And as soon as we get this training gear in here, uh, we'll get rid of it. Yeah, the scouts are idle. We have enough time, so that's good. So that totem reduced our... Oh, it's the trader. Hello there. Hello there, old Farloff. Okay, you have another wave of the forest. A book of the renowned Stormwalker, Perwin Runebreak. How many of these can we get? Like... <laughs> uh, right, reputation points. So we can just straight up buy reputation points. Big files. Right, so here's the thing. This dude buys fabric and we have lots of it. And we have some oil. We might or might not want to sell that, though. Now we're producing lots of plant fiber. 
have some copper ore. Not sure what we're gonna do with that. But... So I definitely have lots of beautiful stuff to sell. Let's sell some oil. Well, it's not really that expensive, but it is useful. So maybe we keep it. So I can definitely buy one of these two, no problem here. Mm, so this one sells and buys fabric. That's pretty nice, actually. That's really, really nice. So yeah, we could go and buy that. Yeah, that's a pretty even trade. Okay, now we can buy this. 0 0.5 reputation points. Yeah, I'll buy that. There. Now, can we go and get another of these books? I mean, these are so nice. <laughs> I really like them. I mean, selling wood is a little bit scary, but I'm doing fine grabbing some more. Plant fiber, we are actually growing. And you have a lot. The tablets, we really can't afford. I should maybe start popping some of these. Oh, we have some newcomers. Okay. Let's grab these ones. And now... Oh, nobody's homeless. That's really good. Okay. So we're working on this. Yes. Is the training gear done? Soon. Soon, TM. I'll see what I do about all of that. Okay, can we finally, like, connect this road? Not really. Okay, I really need this cleaned also. Okay, let's move this thing a little bit closer. I'll need this cleaned. Like, everything. Okay, we're collecting roots. That's good. That means we are producing cookies, right? Right? Yeah, we are producing cookies, so that's good. Yeah, we are doing really good with food. That's nice. Okay, we're on six, so I can definitely put some more people on chopping duty. There we go. Still it is seven. Yeah, that's really bad hostility level. I wonder if I can grab the other thing. Like, how much did this, like, jump? Villagers, 324. Okay, we can grab a cornerstone. Reinforced access. <laughs> the settlement specializes in training gear production. Gain plus one to lizard result for every 70 training gear produced. Mm. Gain 30 meat every time a villager dies or leaves. <laughs> uh, I mean, 30 meat is a lot. That's like... That's so much food, actually. With 30 meat, that's like 84, 84 jerkies. That's just broken, dude. I don't know if there's anything else we can use the resin for. Uh, I would kind of like that, but it's like kind of expensive. How's the trade routes? Okay, we actually did get some money from trade routes, right? So now we have six. So we're a little bit closer to that. So maybe if we do some kind of combined thing here. So let's say we need 16 of these, right? For the hostility reduction book, that's 20. All uh, right, so if I sell all the clothes and if I sell, how's the letter? Eh? So I sell a little bit of these and I sell a little bit of wood. And I, I don't want to sell planks though. This dude sells stone. And crystallized do. This thing is expensive. Whoa. Probably because you can make tools out of it. I mean, you know, I should probably go <laughs> and buy crystallized dew. We have 23 tools, we're gonna need way more. Uh, speaking of tools and stuff, did we stop making training gear? We did. Okay, that's good. Does this thing finally start working? 
Uh, can we like deliver in progress? Okay, that's good. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna buy crystallized do instead instead of this book. It's just something we really need. Okay, I'm gonna sell half my wood for that, and I'm gonna sell half my fiber for that. I'm gonna sell half my oil for that. I'm gonna sell all my clothes. And there we go. I'm gonna be able to buy 21 of these and that's gonna be a lot of tools. That's really good actually. Okay, there we go. So the tool production up and going. So that's gonna be 14 tools actually. That's really good. Gonna need our wood choppers though to chop us some more trees or we're gonna run out really really fast. But it's happening, so that's good. Uh, how many of these do we have? We have none. So we burned all of them. We have some oil. Global production speed increases. Uh, that could be good sometimes, I guess. Right, so we're getting some clay here. I forgot what we were making out of clay, but it was something useful, right? It wasn't pots. I'm not sure about this whole thing, though. With the wood being like under so much pressure right now. We have a lot of wood, though. Um, I could buy some more. Like, fiber we can grow, dude. Like... Yeah, fiber we can grow. We should just sell all of it. Hmm. Copper ore. I'm not gonna sell any more wood, though. And what is with these reeds? Like, who needs reeds, right? That's the same as fiber, more or less. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we can make something out of it. We can actually make weapons out of reeds, no? Okay. Let me see. Yeah, we can make weapons out of reeds instead of planks. So maybe I should have done that, but okay, it is what it is. We have plenty of planks, but I don't want to sell those. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so we're working on this thing now, yeah? Yep, we're working on that. Okay, I'm going to assign another worker to do that. Okay, but we should, like... Okay, so that's that. Food-wise, we are fine. Good, good, good. Would be really good if you can get some way. Mm. I could go and grab some more buildings, you know. So let's do that. So let's see, what will be the most useful? This, reinforced needles and mold supply and four parts. Yeah, let's grab that. So now we can actually build another harvester. Oh, look at that, some more clay. I forgot what I was making out of clay. Oh, I know. Bricks. We can make bricks out of clay. There. Do we have a better brick production building? Nope. This is a good feature. I should be using it more. So if you go here to provisioner... Do we still produce the goods? No. That's fine though. We produce like 28. We should keep trading here. Okay. I should probably sell my packs of crops. How many do we have? Yeah, I can sell three packs of crops for six amber. That's pretty good. There we go. Good. But yeah, things are a little bit hostile right now so not really getting any reputation but once we solve this thing another totem at some point it will not be worth it. it's like the totems will disappear once we do this right so okay and then we can chill for a little bit um What else do we need? Okay, here we are grabbing fibers. That's fine. Oh, yeah, we can build another collector. Now, what do we want to collect? We're collecting the meat here. That's fine. These are big mushrooms, so we cannot collect the big ones. Oh, hello. 
Some berries hidden in there. What are you doing? You're collecting the roots? You can probably like collect them from here, no? To be like... There, so you can carry them to warehouse more easily. Although, you know what? Like, like that, and let's just build a road now like this. It's gonna be a little bit better. And, uh, yeah. Pat. There we go. Good. Yeah, these fisherman totems are like a little bit bugging me, but it's okay. Soon, soon we're gonna get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, new building. Let's see. Tavern, a place where villagers can fulfill their needs for leisure, luxury, passive effects, and gleamail, gleamman tales. Plus three to global result. Problem is, we don't have any beer, so this would not be very good. Brawling education. Right, I don't, well, technically, nope. Okay, what else do we have? Rain mill and forger's camp. Now, forger's camp, whew, forger's camp can grab big vegetables and we actually have some big vegetables. Thing is though, we are producing lots of vegetables. Yeah, but yeah, we're producing lots of vegetables. So it's not really that needed. So basically everything we just got offered, it's like so-so. A generation which ignores history has no past and no future. Gain a stack of the wealth effect, plus one to global resolve for each rebuilt or salvaged ruin. Expected gain one. Hmm. We could make the lizards happy. Yeah, this is not happening, right? Although we can just grab three global resolve regardless if we have this or not. Just a resolve boosting building at that point. Let's see. Oh, we actually never grabbed this thing. Like, how reasonable it is to produce training gear in this playthrough? No, not very reasonable, is it? Yeah, we just need as many tools as we can get our hands on. And that's what we're going to be doing here. I wonder, where can we get crystallized dew from? Mm, trade routes. We can sell some meat. Not a huge fan of that, actually. Okay. I think I'm just gonna make a cut here and then decide in the next episode. Um, so let's see, yeah, the Forsaken Altar activation. Oh, we should build the Forsaken Altar. An ancient altar to the Forsaken Gods. In the midst of the Raging Storm, you can make sacrifices here to gain imaginable powers. Yeah, I should definitely see what this is all about. So yeah, join me next episode to see what that is all about. So we're gonna make some more bricks here, that's pretty good, and build this thing. Um, yeah, we're gonna solve that. So yeah, the, the reputation meter is catching up to the Queen's Epatio. This is a little bit over the half, this is soon to reach the half. And we still have a little bit here banked up, so gonna be good so we're gonna pick a building next time and probably like go for another one so i'm looking for like i don't know like we have a mine right yeah we have a mine do we actually have like any resources that we can mine for no i don't think this map has like yeah this map doesn't have any copper oh yeah i was wondering how do we produce crystallized dew Oh, really? Uh, show all. Oh, there we go. Brickyard, alchemist hut. Okay, we're gonna need some water for that, but that's fine. And beanery. So maybe we go for one of these to start producing crystallized dew. 
Because copper, I don't think... Yeah, copper is made from copper ore, which we don't have access to, so... Uh, so do, if you want to make a whole bunch of uh, metal, you're going to need do. So we're going to need some water, that's fine. We're going to need clay, which we have a little bit. And then we're going to need vegetables, for example. So we can definitely make... So if you get one of these buildings, like Alchemist Hut, for example, we can make crystallized dew. And then from crystallized dew, we can make tools. And then with tools, we can uh, like pick these up and get some extra reputation. So that's probably going to be the plan. So yeah, hopefully enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice, be kind to each other, and well, let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and see you next episode. And see ya in the next episode of Against the Storm. The Niemers signing out. Bye-bye.